Good morning. So yesterday um, I was deploying a static site uh, generated with SvelteKit um, to SourceHub, but I didn't quite get the build uh, manifest right. Um, so let's have a quick look at the failure again. Uh, so what's happening is um, I'm using Nix shell because I'm using Nix OS for um, the build. And I'm using Nix shell um, in a pure version uh, to run npm install and npm run build. And because I'm using, because I've gone into a directory which doesn't have a shell script in it, um, it's not known what kind of shell to create and what packages to install and all that kind of stuff. Um, so uh, in fact, it's just said, I can't find a dot uh, which is true. So what we need to do is either create a shell dot or whatever in the site subdirectory of the repo, or do like I have in the rest of the builds for the command line uh, interface for the daemon and the GUI and just have a make file um, and use that instead um, and just run a make from the top level of the repo where there is a shell or next. So I'll just uh, get into the repo as such um, so you'll find it easier to understand what we're looking at. So this is the build script um, or manifest rather. Um, and you can see that we've already got tasks for building where it basically runs and make um, from the top level of the checkout, the source checkout. Um, and then a test, which again, just runs a uh, make test. Although it's prefixed with um, XVFB run because it does some X related tests as well, or tests that need an X environment. Um, and then we've added these things. Um, so one for packaging the site, um, which is where we have the problem at the moment, and then one for uploading the site, which is basically taking the output from the package. Um, I think I might be able to do similar to, uh, let's think, Oh, it might be the top level make file. Um, do we have a TGZ? We do, yeah. So we've got a, a target here in the make, TGZ, um, which basically packages up um, all the binaries. Um, which is not exactly what we need. Because we need to deploy the site only. So what should we do? Maybe maybe we just need a target like that. Uh, probably keep it short actually package pkg or something um they... yeah maybe if i have a make file entry at the top level and it's simply something like 
site. TGZ or something. The key thing. Oh, actually. Maybe I'm overcomplicating things here, thinking about that. All I need to do is, when we do the build earlier, so we do the make, that just needs to do the npm install and npm run build. So if we just include site as one of the subdirectories in the make file, That will then trigger it to try and do a make in there. We haven't got a make file. We'll sort that out in a second. That will then hopefully, if I get it right, do an npm install and npm run build. And then we'll leave us with a build directory like in here that we can hopefully use. I just need to check what's outside, so I'm waiting for a package. One second. It's just the just the farmer doing stuff. Um, okay. Yeah. And then as long as I Yeah, so maybe then from, I could just do a top level make to, to get um, the site tar ready and upload it. Yeah. Well, 
where the alternative would be to maybe keep the sub keep it out of the sub dials and have its own little root. Mm. This is quite separate from the the binaries that get packaged and stuff. Although in the future it might be important for like making sure the docks are there. Okay, I'm just gonna close that door. Fixing some machinery. Um, yeah. Don't know what to do there. Because it would be nice if it were all built in one go. What I'm going to do is create the make file. I'll just steal one of these, I think, because it's fairly simple. Maybe I need the GUI one so it does the NPM stuff. If it does. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can just get this make going first. Um, so, in the site. Paste in a new make file. Um, so we need to kind of change this up a little bit. Let's Okay, I think all we need as a result is build. So I'll do that. Um, we don't have a 
and it goes source for HTML. Basically, it's all in the source. <laughs> and what on earth? <laughs> I have a bug in the code there. Let's fix that up. I've just noticed. Make, make files a mess. What an end. What happened there? Wow, that hasn't been working for a while. God knows how long that's been like that. Front end. Wow. Front end, front end, front end. That is mad. Shows you how. So that just means it hasn't been triggering those. Because any of those changes here would have done the do. But front end. And that's what copy and paste does for you. One of those. Okay. Uh, right, well, we don't need foot end anyway. And... Kind of want... Actually, going back to the previous GUI one. Hmm. Don't really have like a... I wonder if we have a... Greedy. We don't, do we? Okay, what we'll do is, at the moment, we've only got source and roots and static. That's the only stuff in subdirectories. Although that's actually a two. That's a one and then two. Okay. There's a few different files there. But it's all source stuff. So I could probably get away with very wild card e type things. And then in here, If the package changes or the configs, then they may need rebuild as well. 
Okay. So what we'll do um, is we'll change these. Um, to square source, why not? Why did that do that? Get rid of go mod. Um, and we'll do that as anything like that. And then the same here. Let's give it a ease. And we'll do static. And then config, which is actually presumably I can do that. And then don't need that. Oh, actually do want them both. What I do, what I actually want it to be is JSON. So that picks up package JSON, anything else like the lock file if that changes. And then I'll keep this as config.js as well. So all we've got is source. So anything in the source changes. So that should be anything like HTML or Svelte files at the moment, and I might need to start extending that. Anything in static, basically, as long as it's got an extension. And then I don't think I don't think I need to worry about that for the moment. We'll keep that out. Sorry about the noise. And the flickering lights. God knows what they're doing out there. All right. Don't need the dist dire. But yeah, no, 
give out. So we're going to create an object from source static and config changes. Yeah, we'll do an npm install and then an npm run build. It's a bit heavy handed doing the install every time though. What I could do Yeah. Let's do an install. That's not a van just a moment. It's still just the farmer mucking about the machinery. Right, I will actually change this. We we'll have an install target. Uh, which depends on any config changes. And then source static and install. They all may trigger. build although What we're really doing is setting up nine modules. So maybe we should do that instead. Yeah, maybe I 
Yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to work. This is probably better though. I'll do that. So just have a dependency there that to get node modules and make sure it's updated. Um, and it's not a phony one because it's the actual thing that we need to be created. It will check install. And if the config has changed, it will do an install. Is that right? Might have that random way, but anyway, we'll try that anyway. Uh, so, right, so what we should end up with is npm run build because source or static or node modules have changed. Node modules depends on install, which does that. So we've got a separate install target. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, test. I uh, don't even think we have test at the moment. So, yeah, at the moment we will, oops, here we are, do nothing. And nothing, I suppose I just take them out. Clean. That removes build and clean all. Depends on clean. And then also gets rid of node modules. I could get rid of Svelte kit as well. just for funsies. Completely clean out the cache, basically. There's nothing else there that doesn't get checked in, so build is the the main target to clean up uh we don't have a tidy and hmm could do that
Do a rotten day up there. Not sure how that's going to work, but we'll see. Okay. Let's see if this even works. So I should be able to do a make and it will eventually do run build. Don't have a TGZ yet, but I think I'm going to do that at the top level. Let's see. Uh, stick in here. Oh, I've already got that up and running. Um, right, let's test it in here. So, make clean. Oh. <laughs> First failure. Okay. So it's definitely gone. Uh, what if I do a make clean all? Okay. Yeah. If I do a make, what happens? Did it do it? Everything, where's the, oh yeah, vote site to build. Okay, that's got all the bits in it. Uh, make run. Okay. Okay. Does the deal? Um, right. So that's good. Kill that off. Get rid of that. So in theory, that works now. If So if I do a make, hmm, make again. Right, it's always doing the install. That's not what we want. And of course, when it does the install, it then does a rebuild. Now I've made the install again. So we do a rebuild. That's interesting. How, what am I gonna do there? It's not quite right. Uh, I've hit this a bunch of times in the past and I can't remember how I'll get around it. Source static node modules. Gonna get a build. If 
I just do make install, which is actually a really bad name now that I think about it. Just keeps making it. And it shouldn't. Oh, of course it's got to. There's, there's a phony output. So it's always going to be rebuilt. Hmm. So maybe... Yeah. Maybe it should just be node modules. Bit of a phony. Test, test for both. I'm going to get them back at some point. Clean, clean all, tidy. Don't think I need. And then run. Might put tidy back at some point and just make it do a, an update. Okay, right. So if I do. Uh, oh, let's just double check. I'm going to node modules, felt kit, and build. Okay, make clean all. Install does the build. Make nothing to do. Make node modules. Nothing to do. Um, npm. up save no no i don't really want to do that let's yeah make clean and then make yeah it doesn't do the install again it does do the buildy stuff that's right uh, if I update some config somehow, mm, don't know what to change here. Maybe something in package JSON. Change the name. Snippet. Pixie. Site. Why are you not likey? Huh. I 
Maybe I shouldn't do that then. Let's make it a different version. And fix the formatting too. Okay. Right, that's changed. So if I do make npm install and build package lock updated. So I think we're good there. Hmm. Okay. All right, so we still need to do this bit here. So in theory, this make on the build task will remake the site. So let's go back up and we'll do a make clean. Mm. Why did it go into site build? Oh, okay. Because it's always too deep. So that's what I've been doing in the top level make file. Sub dyes. Package internal command. Right, and then for each of those, I go package internal command to get the directory, and then I get its subdirectories, which I don't want for site. I want just the site. Okay. Yeah, subdirectories is actually 
saying get me the subdirectories of these um, and then target dials which is what we actually use we're doing a make on them okay that's better okay so we go through and we do yeah make seat make site clean um, and it's the last one here and then if I do a make it's got to be able to the binaries first as well though It's taken me a while since I've cleaned all the things. Okay, so that did make install and then a make as such on the site. Let's do another make and see what happens. Yeah, I did install again. And rebuilt it. Why? Sure. Not sure why it's doing that. Why in this context? Because if I go into there and do a make, it does it still. Why? What changed?
Got to fix that. Here's the objects. Object is build. We have source node modules. Hmm, let's simplify even further then. I'm not sure what's going on here because it shouldn't be rebuilding. Just why? I wonder what was left in there. Node modules, package locks, felt kit. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's try that again then. So if I do a make here, nothing to do. Make clean make make okay it's working now must have weirdness there with one of the files in the build let's do um okay let's do make clean all I'm going to make I'm going to make okay make test Okay. Uh, and then make good. All right, we're in a good place there. All right, final thing then is it 
don't need. So we're going to do this, but we need to sort that out first. So we go in here, top level, and we will do um, make site. as you said, I think. Yeah. And then we're going to create that make file thing in a minute. And then here we should have the site tar TGZ available to upload. Uh, so this is going to be the fun bit. Uh, we'll do site TGZ, although it's not really. And Yeah, and we'll just do this. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. And we'll do site. TGZ and then to make the site TGZ That'll be fun. Hmm. Well, to do that, we need to depend on site again. Well, 
site build actually. And what we'll do is we'll tar that up. So I'll just do oh no 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 be careful here this is what I've got to do correctly I need to yeah <laughs> I've got to do a tar minus C insight build using dot and then output so I've basically got to do that but So it tar needs to go into site build and then it does a um, create I'm doing verbose um, compressed uh, from build and output Uh, that oh, actually <laughs> where we want that so that's the uh, the target and then the target is actually site dot tar gz Although I don't really need to do that do I could do that I'm sure we'll see Uh, the short form these days. So we're going to create a site.tgz in the root that hot binary hot program is going to pick up center pages and publish as the domain site uh, snippetpixie.org. Um, it's using site build as its dependency and that's where we're going to do the thing and we just need to set up that dependency um, so I think what we'll do let's just do a thing here Just do make 
minus C. So just make sure it's there. In theory. So even though the make all will actually do this and it will create the site. Reconsidering whether I should do that or not, but anyway, um, it will create site, site build rather. We can then package it up here. All right. Uh, just double check the unstable is going to do make site TGZ. Okay. So in here, if I do make, nothing's to be done. If I do make site TGZ, should, uh, oh, let's just double check what we've got at the end here. We have no TGZs here. But if I do a make, TGZ, it should just package up the binaries only. So yeah, it's grabbed binary, binary, binary. Okay. So all three binaries, if I do a make site TGZ, think it's done it. There you go. All right, so let's test this uh, by pushing it. Use make file. Site. Yep, I think it might work. Hopefully. today. What's the unversion thing? Okay. I need to add that to the git to the uh, okay, ignore. Ha. Huh. that in a minute if this works. So let's check the builds. Okay, it's up and running. Doing its thing. Mm. 
doing its make. Right, in the meantime, snippet pixie dot org should be broken at the moment. Uh, what? Oh, it is. <laughs> That's cached. <laughs> All right. All right, so that's doing its buildy thing. Uh, and while I'm waiting for that, I need to remember that in my site, my personal site, some domains. I need to actually, I'll probably, probably safest if I don't do that on camera. I think. Yeah, I was going to just remove it, but I'll come back to that. Okay, so it's doing a bunch of stuff. Hopefully it'll work. Let's just check the Ubuntu one, which is usually a bit quicker. And once that's done... And go back. In theory, mm, that's a good point, actually. Don't know what's going to happen on the um, Ubuntu build because. Do installs, do a build, it does do a make. So, hmm. But it only makes the TGZ. Be interesting to see if the build succeeds. Hopefully it does. It's doing it now. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I mean, it should work because, well, I suppose it's, it's not not guaranteed because it's not using Nick Shell, but I can't imagine I did anything to break things. So it's getting there. All right. Did it. Yeah. Did all the felt stuff there, look. So that's good. Now it's just doing all the tests. Should finish fairly quickly now. Yeah. 
And then I'll go back and look at Nixos. Or NixOS, I don't know. I never know how to say that. Uh, that's just a thing. I'll just check. That was good. That was my package arrived. That's good. Okay, right. Let's go check this. See how we're doing. Gosh, still building. Still grabbing stuff. I'm having a slow internet day, but it looks like... Uh, Source Heart is as well. It's on the Wales build though, by looks of things, so... Is it? No, oh, no, it's just, yeah, no, it's still doing Nick Shell. Of course. That's the one thing about uh, using Nix OS on uh, the build server as such. Um, there's no packages there really, so it has to download everything it needs before it gets going. Most of it's coming from the NixRS cache though, so that's okay, but it would be nice if um, SourceHut had a cache of this stuff, but that would take up a lot of space. There's quite a lot of um, churn in the Nix packages, so there's uh, lots of things to cache. Right. Okay, still building. Building wheels. Okay, it's actually doing the builds now. It's all the go stuff. I really should have like uh, trimmed down this, but. Uh, Once you're there, it's it's a lot quicker than 
I'd have to do all the um, package grab anyway, so that also takes most of the time. Doesn't tell you how long it's been running, does it? Uh, 11 minutes, wow. It is definitely having a slow day today. That was way slow. Is getting there. Good thing about um, Nix OS is though, if it works, it works. So it's quite nice having that. Reproducible builds and stuff. It'd be kind of frustrating though if it doesn't work. <laughs> if I've done something wrong on that side build. But this is uh, this is where you get the I want to test these kind of things. Once you get them working, that's fine. definitely something going on today on the internet because I've noticed slowness and source heart seems to be taking its time grabbing stuff as well I'll have to look into that in a minute Okay, right, it's making the sign now. Okay, that succeeded. It's going to do some tests. This one will take a little bit longer because it has the next environment. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, <laughs> the site gets deployed, but I have no idea whether that's going to work or not. Packaging up. Oh.
All right, what's the bet in? Yeah, what's the bet in that? I should have done dot dot back dot dot back. Okay, let's uh let's quickly go in there. See what's what. <laughs> Uh, let's I'll pump up there. Snip it a bit. Right, okay, so in snippet pixie Well for starters Ah oh. course it's in snippet pixie that's why okay that's why because in the manifest Uh, not that one, that one. It's a new shell and I'm not doing a CD in Snippet Pixie before then trying to use site. And the previous build here is in Snippet Pixie before it does the build and creates the site.tgz. So I need in here to yeah I'll do it that way might as well because eh? then I don't have the problem of uh, getting a shell or doing a shell stuff don't need to do any shell stuff I have hot installed as a package here so should be able to do that and do snippet pixie site tgz because this passed we therefore know we have a site tgz in here okay um in the meantime Let's take that and test it. Um, over there. So I'm going to go back into the root. Um, have we actually got a dollar site in the environment? No. Okay. Hmm, have we got a heart? We do. Okay, so. Oh, uh, hold on, I don't know what I just did there because I used my. Uh... Okay, I've got to be careful because I'm not on my shell. <laughs> uh, right, so I just need to do. In theory, snippet pixie.org. I hope. Because that is what we would have had in the site variable. 
Sarah. And I don't know whether Hut's going to work, whether it's going to have the Aorth or not. But we'll try. I'm just going to do a uh, secret for a second, just to make sure it doesn't spit anything out. Right, I think it worked, and hopefully I'm back. Yeah, okay. I'm hoping actually that I was always back before. <laughs> okay, so it says it's published. Uh, let's go see. It might take a while for it to get all the certificates and stuff. It's there though. That's it sorted. It has been published. Smart. Okay. Phew. All right. So in theory, um, in theory, Well, I could edit and resubmit this. And then it do all the things. But let's let's just do it properly. Uh, we'll update this and send it on its way. Uh, so this is what we just did on the command line. And that should be good. So let's commit and push that. And yeah, the gate ignores updated as well. Um, All right, well, I've already proven that that hopefully works. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to hang around and wait for it to do its thing on the camera. Uh, I'll just check it later. Um, I should get on with my day. Um, but yeah, so that's good. Um, let's just make sure it's up and running. It is. Uh, I guess we'll see. Um, hopefully they all uh, I'll maybe do some changes later maybe this evening um just fix up the site a little bit um just to test that the dev loop works um so we'll see uh so better get on with the day um thanks for watching um and until next time you take care